Let's sit back, relax, and a few minutes. Magic Mark here. We've got a vlog about the next episode. So, a magic, a great, amazing magician of all time, seriously. One of the great magicians of the night. It's 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, actually. He died at the age of about 90 years old in 1901. He was the great American magician and close up practitioner, Anthony Tony Slidini. Okay, sit back, relax. Let's vlog about the next few minutes here. We're going to go. I tell the story actually because I, I, I started magic like about four years ago when I started magic. And as I say, when I was a kid, it took an awful lot to the 1980s from about 81 to about 1992. I used to go to see a magician, Alan Allen, the cave, back in the shop in London, the cave, very famous magician, Alan Allen. And of course, he was a little short little guy actually, Esca Paul just got actually, seriously, a brilliant magician, seriously. He was friends with a magician who influenced him actually very much called Slidini. And Slidini, of course, was a little, Slidini was a little guy, he was about a five foot tall little bloke, five foot six tall little bloke, basically, American guy, kind of from the Bronx area, New York, I think it was, that kind of area, New York kind of guy, you know what I mean, very American accent, a little short little guy, little old and wrinkled kind of stuff, little guy. But this little bloke, anyway, he used to wear little jackets and suits, and he was kind of a little, 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 little geezer, basically, living in New York City. And he was friends with Dick Cavett. Dick Cavett also was friends with John Lennon, of course. Remember D D D Dick Cavett, very famous person indeed. And there was a bit of a circle going on of friendships, I, I believe, as, as I say. Anyway, good old um, New York Lindus Slardini very, was a very good magician indeed. Now, he started in the 1920s. He's from Italy, apparently. Italy, some of Italy, basically, Slardini. And basically, he became a, ma a legendary magician, seriously. And of course, he, he became a great close magician indeed, okay? And if you've never seen Slidini, you've got to see it seriously. But when I was a kid, you could never see any film. There's no YouTube, of course, when I was a kid. There's no films when I was a kid. You couldn't, you couldn't see Slidini anywhere at all, basically. You know? It wasn't until recently I actually managed to get to see some of the films and footage of Slidini working, okay, as a real magician. Now, this guy, of course, he influenced Alan Allen, of course. Alan Allen told me to watch him again and watch him, basically. And, I, and as a kid, I was trying to, I was desperate to kind of learn about Slidini, basically. And I remember buying a book about Slidini when I was about 16 years old, okay, get Slidini's book it was an amazing little two of Slidini's book you know and within it was like 12 tricks parachute card there was in it there was um there was coins through a table there was a cigarettes routine a lot of cigarettes routine okay. it was very trendy back in the day so cigarettes kind of magic you know making cigarettes appear this appear kind of stuff and there's also this start coins through tables back in the doing the, the silks tie and untie kind of silk handkerchiefs and also you had an amazing cut restore rope routine as well we had the rope and cut it to pieces and restored it again basically classic routine I did that in my videos or a lot of my videos I've done that kind of stuff um, including my, my, my mystic magic video I've done check out mystic magic video I did about a year ago so, so anyway, basically, Slardini was a great magician, and he invented some of these amazing routines. So over, people, over the years, many, many magicians have gone on to steal these routines or copy them, because they're great routines, basically, okay? And if you want to learn magic, get on YouTube and check out Slardini, seriously, okay? Because he's a genius. This guy's a soft-smoking little guy, soft as well me, you know? A little kind of Italian accent, you know? And they're going to go into there, I've got the coin, you know? The coin's going to disappear, and now I've got the cigarette, the cigarette's going to disappear. And now they're going to the rope, the rope, the gato, do, and they're all coming together again, and the gato, do, and come together again, you know? He's amazing kind of Italian accent, seriously. New York Italian accent, I love this stuff, seriously. He's so good, right? so relaxed, so relaxed, so relaxed to watch him, seriously. So back relax, like ASMR, you know, watching him, he's so relaxing to watch him, seriously. Anyway, here it is, I'm going to show a bit of him right now. Here's Performing a Dick Cavett show, a little clip of it, 1975, I think it is basically, mid 1970s. This is 45 years ago, and uh, he's a genius. Now, you want to see real magic, pure skill magic, okay? No CGI special effects, nothing at all. This guy's doing pure magic close up, okay? But with a little crowd around him, seriously. This guy's a genius. Tony Stardini. So, we'll start, let's kick off anyway um, with, okay, as a student of magic myself. I mean, I'm still a student, you know, do you know what I mean? I'm, being, I'm 50 years old, I'm still learning magic. I started when I was 10, I'm still learning. I'm watching Slidey and I'm still learning, you know? Anyway, have a look at this now. It's a little clip of him doing the amazing cigarette routine, okay? Vanishes cigarettes on the table, okay? Making them appear pure skill, pure dynamic sleight of hand. Check this out.
good, isn't it? So it really goes, that's very good. As I say, I do enjoy that. And obviously, the next trick he does as well, I'll show a bit of this as well, him doing an amazing routine. I think it's the coins for the table. This coins for the table routine, he has four coins in a ring, and makes the coins go through the table, okay? It's pure magic. And again, because of because of copyright, I can't actually show that it's half the soundtrack on that, my face, because of music kind of stuff. However, he normally, do try and watch it on YouTube. Here's a clip of him doing an amazing coins through table. Here we're gonna go. <laughs> So basic sort of says, isn't it? Coins through table again. There's a little clip of it basically. Check out again on YouTube the actual routine, him talking and pattering as he's doing the coins through the table. If you want to learn pattern magic, check it out seriously. Uh, he wasn't very funny, kind of, he was amusing, wasn't he? He wasn't kind of a cracker jack kind of funny kind of guy, but very, very amusing. And it's very entertaining. Now, here we go. Another routine as well he does here as well is the amazing uh, 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 tied together kind of silk handkerchiefs. You get two silk handkerchiefs, tied them together, two wet white silks, tied them together basically, tied on proper solid knots and they come apart basically. Tied them together again, proper solid knots come apart, come apart again seriously. It, makes, it really is a magic trick seriously. It's called Amazing Untying and Tying Silks. Okay, it's in his book actually, Slidey's book actually. You get a whole slide Slidey's book. Someone on eBay or something, get hold of a book basically, or on Amazon where you get hold of a book. But so have a look at this amazing routine. Here's Slidey doing the uh, tying and untying handkerchiefs. Okay, what's this?
kind of because when I look at the final routine, the, well, the other routine is worse, seriously. The final routine is very good too. This routine, of course, is, is, is Cup Store Road routine. This routine, again, everyone's done this routine. Everyone I've seen this routine. But Paul Daniels done it, Copperfield's done it, you know, Dynamo. Everyone's done it, Dynamo's done it. I've done it. Everyone's done this routine, seriously. This is the, the pure, simple sleight of hand routine of Cup Store Road routine done by Slidini, okay? Beautiful sleight of hand uh, method. Gets a so, so, right, cuts it in three pieces. The pieces have become different lengths, then back to the same length again, okay? Check out, I've done a version of this on my Mystic Magic video. Check it out, my Mystic Magic, okay? But have a look at this again. Here it is, him doing the beautiful sleight of hand that is the, the cut of store rope routine, okay? Pure sleight of hand. Magicians should check this out, seriously, and you should check it out too. So relax and check out this amazing bit of the cut of store rope routine, a la Slidini. Here we're gonna go. Goodbye, so it's really amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Leo, it's amazing, most of the time, okay, he lives, as he died, I think he died, he aged about 90 years old, I think, 8, 9, 90 years old, he died, 1990, 1901, I think he died, didn't he? He died 30 years ago, seriously, most 1901, he died, I remember that when he died, actually. And a lot of magicians are going to see him, I know Mike Vincent, we're going to pretty much Mike Vincent lives in London, he's an old friend of mine, years and years ago, Mike Vincent, actually, um, there's Alan Allen Street as well, also I think Met Slidini as well, so check out Mike Vincent's videos, because he met Slidini actually when he was a kid, actually amazing isn't it? I'm actually meeting Slidini seriously, you know, this guy's amazing, he's a part of New York City. Anyway, this guy's amazing, he lived to a ripe old age of nearly 90 years old, Slidini, very old, 89 years old, 90 years old when he died. And he lived in, I think, a nursing home in New York City for several years actually before he actually died. But this guy, he, had, he actually had been performing in the 50s and 60s an awful lot, I think. And it kind of went to retirement apparently, they came out of retirement to do some more TV shows because he was that good. This guy kind of reinvented magic, he kind of took the old tricks and reinvented them in his own kind of way. And though I can't play the soundtrack, okay, do check the videos out on YouTube because on the, if you look at the videos on YouTube, you actually hear the soundtrack and everything, the sound of the coins going through the table, that kind of stuff. It gets a bit of a sonic kind of sound to what's going on because the magic is partly about not only the performance, also about the sonic sound of the coins as well, that kind of stuff. So, and his patter as well, because his patter is really lovely as well. Lovely, sweet kind of patter, Italian American kind of patter. Lovely guy. And what I can say, I love watching him seriously. As a student of magic, watch him. There's other tricks on a parachute card as well, he does. He does other things as well, including other bits and pieces, including tournament store paper as well, which I do as well. My, one of my videos, Nimes Out video, I did that as well. Nimes Out video, I did from like, a couple of weeks ago, where I do tournament store paper as well. That's again, the Slardini's here, the Slardini's trick again, seriously. This is magic you could do, you could do this trick, seriously. One of the magic that you make to the pub, whatever we're going to do in the office, do a camera yourself. Check out some of these routines for you to do as well. They're out, they're out to do, seriously. Most of you want to get hold of Slidney's book. Get out of Slidney's book as well. Slidney's book and magic, cake. Okay? It's somewhere, somewhere out there, I think. Try to get hold of it, seriously. Hope you enjoyed that, Kate. I think I do. Remember, please do uh, help me out, please, with the channel. Please do. I'm getting the channel kicked off, really. I'm off to London to do some more editing in a minute as well for the videos. Okay, I work up in London doing the editing a little bit as well, the videos. Uh, please remember, please like, subscribe. Please do like, subscribe to help me out. Subscribe to help me out. Please do subscribe to the channel. Help me out for that. I don't want to lose the channel, so please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to help me out with, please. Okay. Also, click links below for 70, 80, 90, well, 90 videos, actually, on Magic Channel. I've got loads of videos there. Almost 100 videos in there right now on Magic Channel. So check it out. Please do my channel, Magic White 122. Anyway, look after yourselves again. Happy Friday. Friday today. I hope you get, remember to get your jab soon as well for COVID-19. Get your jab in as well for your COVID-19. Please get that done as well. Get rid of this awful virus. Join 2021. And we'll look after yourselves. And please subscribe. We'll see you again very soon for some more magic chat and illusions. See you later on.